<laughs> hey, podcast number eight, right? No. <laughs> it's actually four. <laughs> Thing is... I promise, we didn't smoke any weed before this. <laughs> we we uh, we had a four, we recorded four, and I think that was uh, with... Uh, oh, that's, is that the really shitty edited one? That was poorly edited, and it's on my... <gasps> com- it's on either your computer or my computer. Actually, no. Just it was, chilling there? It was on the computer that you had last, but it crashed. And then, no, 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 but I, I think I have a copy. I just didn't, haven't gone by to edit it. So it's okay. lost. It's like one of those uh, missing tapes. Like in, like, like in Family Guy, Spongebob, they found the missing tape, and he's like, he's a secret episode. Yeah, that shit's gone. <laughs> we ain't looking for it. Yeah, you guys ain't gonna find it. All right, so this is four. So this is four. This is the real number four. Real the, number four. The yeah, real, that's, that's the title. The real number four. The real number four. <laughs> yeah, but um, we haven't... Uh, post a lot of content recently. The only thing, the, the last thing we posted was the uh, oh the end, right. which we took this amazing trip to Philly, which I think we should probably talk about. It's pretty cool. Right. Well, first of all, apologize for the videos like Dan said. Um, but we we should be getting out a bunch more content now. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. Uh, recently we've been just kind of like you know backed up with finishing off high school, and we all we both got accepted to Pace, so yeah. you know yeah. Woo. But um, that was a horrible celebration. We celebrate later. But, um, uh, yeah, uh, we just got, you know, really backed up with this work and filling out, you know, scholarships and, you know, a whole bunch of shit when all it comes right, to, like, right. they're bored with us already. Don't be bored with us. Give right. us another chance. What is, I need to hear one of these stories that you've been telling me about all day. <laughs> Wait, first, let's, let's talk about what we did in Philly. Okay. But that was horrible. If you're going to go to a place, for food, don't go yeah. to Philly. Philly is a horrible place. Philly is a horrible place to go. It's like these are the worst places in the United States. New Jersey, Philly, right there. It's like Done. it's like because <laughs> New Jersey is worse than Philly <laughs> by a lot. Just close to you know like Iraq, but like you know just not 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 like there. No, we don't. You see like boom. it's like falling into Third Reich territory. So you know, <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the videos, please check them out. Uh, uh, what happened was my friend. Goldman, which he was in the video, he's the one driving, uh, text me, text me the night before saying, uh, hey, I'm hungry. And I was like, word, I'm hungry too. He goes, I got an idea. Cool. Let's go to Philly. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) (laughs) So he goes, no, no, we can check out, uh, Geno's and Pass, which by the way, Geno's, hands down, best. Better, way better than Pass. Way better. Just, just by far. Pass was like your traditional, you know, Philly cheese stick, but Geno's is like good. So, um... I was like, sure, I'm up for the ride, even though it was an hour and a half long, and we got lost. Um, but then I was like, you know, might as well... Uh, multiple times. Multiple times. I was like, might as well do like an, like an OTR comeback thing with this. So I, I text Max, and I was like, hey, uh, you're not doing anything. Let's go with the... Come with us. And then I went, and it was... It was interesting. <laughs> was it worth it, though? It was worth Are it. Are you yeah. happy that you oh, went? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy I went. I just wish Philadelphia was not... Shitty. So let me break it down to you. We're on the highway. It's it's you know beautiful, sunny outside. We got to the point where we you know we just had to put the visors down. We put the sunglasses up. We were yeah. just chilling. Uh, there's a certain point where uh, you're on the uh, I don't know what highway or turnpike it was, but we're still in New Jersey and you hit Philly. There was that second. As soon as you cross the line into Philly, I shit you not, it went from sun. To like, you can't see five feet in front of you. Smog, blizzard, icy rain. It was really depressing. It was Instantly. all beautiful ass, you know, boom. It's shit. As soon as we hit Philly, it was just like little drops of snow, and we we're like, oh, what the you hell? Can, boom. You Have you ever seen feel in SpongeBob? The sadness in Have you ever seen in SpongeBob the Hall Monitor episode where it just goes, oh, it's going to be night soon? Just drops the darkness. The I, background I just drops. <laughs> I, I think that just was just instantly dropped. I don't it's the like episode, daytime um, darkness. That's exactly what happened. I don't know an episode where he um he was he tried to catch the bus and he missed the bus rock to go back. Bottom? Rock bottom, yeah. Rock and bottom. he goes, Well, you know, the bus will come soon and it's all light and dark. <laughs> but uh that's what really happened. It was just you can feel like the you know, misery and sadness in the air. Like, I don't know how, you know... You cross the bridge, it was shitty instantly. And then we look to the right, there's, there's like, a boat the size of the Titanic on the shore. Yeah, it was just, just rusting. Like, no one, no rusting. one's bothered to do anything It was about there it. for, like, five or six years at least. But, um... Yeah, um... 
But yeah, the Philly cheesesteaks are good. I, I don't know what they're... I, I don't know if it's like a poor neighborhood or maybe it's just like that's how, you know, people live. In like, West Philadelphia, boy. Yeah, fuck. Stay away from Philly. Right? <laughs> Everyone there is either like, you know, pissed off, sad, or just like doesn't give a fuck. And no one cares about parking. They just oh, park in the middle of the streets. It's just ridiculous. Okay. Um, yeah, literally, there were cars in the middle of the fucking intersection. It was hilarious. Yeah, so if you guys want to see, like, actual, like, video of Philly, you know... Just so you know Type in Google lying. Philly, <laughs> you'll see a freaking angry or sad person there. Or you can check out videos. Uh, on the playlist, I think it was the Quest for Philly Cheesesteak. Uh, that's, that's what I called it. <laughs> that's what it was, Simon. So, uh, in this podcast, uh, we'll be talking about a uh, shitload of stuff, right? You might bring a little Yu-Gi-Oh into this. I don't know. All right, maybe, 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 maybe. It might spill on, sprinkle, drops. I, I'm. If you don't tell me one of these stories, I'm gonna die. I've been waiting in anticipation for nine periods, man. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, we had a long day today. Long day. Long day. First time. Monday back from from winter break. I was contemplating of going to school. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, should I not? Or should I go? I was contemplating. And I told that? my mom, Ma, I think I'm gonna stay. She goes, Nah. And I was like, You sure? I was like, You should probably go. And yeah. I was like. I should probably go. And I'm kind of glad I went because we had even more shit to do, which this week is... It's going to be a long Fucked week. up. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm trying to get these videos to, like, you know, kind of like a binge just making videos right now, I guess. Yep. And I still have two more of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! duel with uh, Mike. Gay Mike. Which I haven't, yeah, Gay Mike. Which oh, I- yeah, by the way, in case you guys are wondering, uh, Gay Mike goes to our school, except he's been out for the past three months with, like, what? Ammonia. Pneumonia? Yeah. I'm I pretty know, sure ammonia is I a know chemical. It's- Ammonia is a chemical. It's pneumonia. Oh, uh, pneumonia. <laughs> pneumonia. Good. Pneumonia. We learning. Ammonia, you use that to like clean stuff. Okay. Okay. Asshole. Like dead bodies. Uh, yeah. If we have, when you get pneumonia. Yeah. Yeah. You're out for two to three weeks. But if you have like a, uh, you know, a medical condition, it could take you out for three to eight. And at at the time, it seemed reasonable because he was out all of December. And all of uh, January. <laughs> and so, then all of February. <laughs> yeah, but then it started getting a little iffy when it was all, out of all of February. And then I don't think he's back yet, right? Nope, he said he's coming back in late March. <laughs> oh my god. I, no, no, he's coming back in April, is what Mike Rosabella told me. Uh, so I'll, April he's coming I'll back. I'll pray for him. But, I'll pray, um, pray for Mike. Uh, where was I going to go with this? So yeah, you know, I'm kind of glad I went to school and everything like that. Sorry. But, uh, so, uh, oh, Jesus. All right. You don't work, right? Are you, yeah, no, you, you haven't gotten a job, but I, no, I've gotten a couple of jobs over the summer here and there, but not like a full. How time. do you how do you deal with like other coworkers? It's hard. It's hard to deal with them, like especially if if someone's an asshole. You know, it's hard. You can't just straight up be like, "Hey, fuck you," because you're gonna come back the next day and he's still gonna be there, and you have to deal with him. And well, I mean, you know, it's, I it's would difficult. get um. Uh, massage spa or whatnot. Right. And um, I work with a lot of therapists uh-huh. and estheticians. If you guys don't know what an esthetician is, it's basically the guy who does facials for you. But um, the thing about therapists is that they live... Not all of them. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying all therapists. <laughs> I'm just saying these individual therapists, or a few, or most of them, basically all of them, um, <laughs> <laughs> they live in their own freaking world, yo. Do they? Like, and I'm not the one to judge. I'm really not, right? I, I think, you know, you can believe whatever you want to believe uh, as long as you're happy. Just don't go preaching to freaking everyone about you. That's when I draw the line. One of the... One of the therapists had, like, a hippie trip on Saturday night. What does that mean? Okay. A hippie trip? Hippie trip. Somebody needs let to me, put that, on, cl- put that on a t-shirt, ladies and gentlemen. Put it on a t-shirt. Hippie trip. I haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, you haven't heard that. I, I haven't said that in a um, while. Let me clarify. So, you know, I work, you know, basically night shifts from like 1 to like 9 o'clock at night. And um, I'm, when I do around like 9 o'clock, I start cleaning up and everything like that. Right. And I was having, I was on my break. So, uh, I'm in the break room, chilling, eating a... Uh, Greek pasta salad because I like Greek pasta salad. Salad. Yeah, and Coke and I, uh, sour cream and onion, ruffles. Yeah, ruffles. You started off healthy with the salad, and then you had a Coke, <laughs> and then you had sour cream and onion ruffles. People look at me. Oh wow, you have a salad. Oh, what the? F- oh, Coke and salad. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I'm, you know, I'm in my and I have like one designated spot in the break room. It's in right. the corner next to the sink. It's my spot. No one touches that spot. 
At 6 o'clock, which I take my break, no one goes in that spot. So I'm sitting there, I'm eating, and these two other therapists walk in. And I'm like, whatever. I have my headphones in. I'm listening to uh, other podcasts, like Adam Carolla, which awesome podcast. Oh, yeah. By, by the way, if you're going to have your headphones, if you see somebody with their headphones in, unless the building is burning down, don't disturb them. Let them have their peace with the headphones, you know? You just made me, usually remind me of another story, which I might bring up. If not, we'll save it to next time. But there's a perfect example of that. Like... You have your headphones in. You're jamming out to your music. You know, I don't want to be interrupted. I don't want to be Please do not interrupt me with headphones. Just leave them alone. Just leave them alone. So, I had them in. I listened to other podcasts like Adam Carolla and Rooster Teeth, which is like two amazing podcasts. And, um, they weren't really bothering me, but I could overhear the conversation. Right. So, you know, I lowered my uh, headphones just in case if they needed to call someone, something like that. And one of them starts... I don't know, just like throwing down some spiritual shit, like in, in at the other one. What do you mean? Like they're like, well, I, lately I've been having these dreams oh, shit. of like, of like of like places I need to go, and maybe I should go and follow those dreams. And like I just want to walk in the desert, what? and I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, oh my god, just stop talking, just go <laughs> away, and and then. And he goes, yeah, I think everyone has, like, an inner power in them. And they all should, like, focus on that inner power. What the fuck? And it to be more spiritual. I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not, by the way, I, I don't, you know, it's totally fine if you, you know, don't believe in God or don't believe in other higher beings. And you have your own, like, way, or you're an atheist or whatever. You, I don't care what you are. Be where you want to be. What makes you happy? The second you start just ranting on in the break room. <laughs> Break room for peace and just like relaxing. You just ran inside of how being like spiritual is just amazing, and like he should go like walk into the desert. And I'm thinking to myself, if you go walking or hiking in the desert, and you take he goes, yeah, I'm gonna leave all like all technology behind. You fucking die. <laughs> I'll give you three days tops, two if you're lucky. You will fucking die, right? You do you ever ever been to the desert? Have you been to the desert? No. Okay, don't not. fucking go to the <laughs> desert. You'll fucking die. Desert fucking sucks. There's nothing cool about the desert. I don't care what Natural Geographic show you watch or some cool <laughs> images your buddy showed you. You fucking stay the fuck away from the desert, all right? Fucking fuck that. It's really hot in the day <laughs> and really cold at night. There's no between. It's bullshit. No water. No water. And the fucking camel spit at your face all the time. <laughs> don't go to the fucking desert. Did you have a bad experience with deserts? <laughs> no, I just hate them. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> going back, <laughs> so he's going on a rant, and I'm sitting here, and I'm just like, dude, I, I don't know, bro. You are just, I'm trying to enjoy my like, you know, lunch slash my dinner. I have ten minutes. I have half, half, half an hour, hour, half an hour. Yeah, half hour is usual. You, you're going on a rant, but spiritual. I really don't want to hear. It. And I try to raise my headphones up, but I can't raise them too loud because just in case someone calls me. But I still can hear them talking. And the thing is, I hate this dude. I don't know if you guys uh, listening or whoever listens to this, I don't, whatever, <laughs> have like, uh, you go to work and you have a break room. I don't know what rules, there should be, I'm no, sorry, there should be rules when it comes to break room, uh, like what to do and like what, what to say and everything like that and how to act. I think one rule is, uh, don't take off your fucking shoes <laughs> in the break room. <laughs> Who's the phone? Oh my God. The same guy who was talking about, who was going on a rant of uh, being spiritual takes off his shoes. Hold on. Not done yet. Not just his shoes. No. That's not even bad enough. His socks. Aww. Now, you know, that is I so like nasty. to, you know, chill belt barefoot myself in the house. But, you know, and I understand you're taking off your shoes for two seconds. To, you get two seconds tops for two seconds in the break room. But, but you know, your, your feet hurt after off, a while. You take want to off your, your feet. Yeah. Fine. Do not take off your socks. Not just that. We have leather couches. He crosses his feet and puts his legs and feet on the couch. Dude. People sit up. <sighs> I'm sitting, I'm, I'm watching, I'm just like, you know, a little, just, I understand that's a comfortable position or whatnot, but a little courtesy, you know, your feet kind of, uh, smell, put your shoes back on, you might have a little appointment in a couple minutes, why are you like all relaxing? I understand it's a relaxing place, but don't lay on the damn couch, and I hate when people do that. Wait, legit, just lay on the couch. You can, you know, you can sit up, make some room for others. But, uh, that was my experience. That is... You think it's over. 
No. This goes on <laughs> to the next day. Oh, my God. I work Saturdays and Sundays, closing shifts. Sunday comes. And one of my close uh, friends, his name is, uh, actually, name, little nameless. He's also a therapist, but he's, uh, how you say, uh, normal. <laughs> uh, he's down to earth. He uh, understands. He speaks. He's he logical. Speaks. He what? uses his words to communicate. <laughs> Whoa! He doesn't take his shoes and socks off in the break room and lay across the couch? He says thank you when he opened the door, which, again, another, some, there's one person in my job which I always open the door for. I always hold the door for people. Does not say thank you. Just puts, like, their head what? down and just continues on. And I'm just like, I can't stop... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, you're probably hearing this, like, this crackle right now. I'm moving, like, the wires. I like, can't stop... You should be required at every job, like... The first thing that you, that you should say on your resume is, I will not be a dick. <laughs> That's the first thing you should and, say. Like, I feel like you should have a precursor. Everybody should have to take a course in high school called How to Fucking Act Properly. Sorry, sorry about that. This one out. How to Fucking Act Properly. Yeah. You know, like, like in I, the real I world. And I can't stop holding the door for people for that because that's just me. I like to, you know, help people. But, you know, when it gets to a certain point where, like, every day, you know I'm going to hold the door for you. Even though you're ha- halfway down the hall and I know you're coming in because I've been working there for nine months. I understand everyone's routine. If you're coming into the big room. I'm going to wait and hold it for you because I'm, I'm not an asshole. The least you can do is look at me. Give me an eye contact. Give me a nod, a thank you, or a point. Point. Even the point is fine. At least I you like, just did some, some gesture. Yeah, and some- instead... And said some they, acknowledgement. They put their head down. Avoid eye contact. I don't, what? I don't know. Okay, so back to my friend who's the logical, normal person. Uh, I go to work. I'm doing like uh, you know rounds. Um, my friend uh, comes out of the break room. He goes to me and goes, "Bro," and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> he goes, "Do not go in the break room." <laughs> and I was like, "Wow, what's up?" He goes. Stay away from the break room. I'm like, bro, what's up? He goes, some crazy shit is happening in the break room. I'm like, what? He goes, dude, too much spiritual crap is happening in there. And I'm like, for real? He goes, they and then they, you know, they did like the loony, uh, when someone's like crazy, they spin their finger around their ear and it's like, yeah, yeah he's crazy. Like, yeah, some crazy shit's going on there. I'm like, no way. And one of the persons, one of the people who were, who was there yesterday, which I went on a rant on like five minutes ago, came out, saw us, we looked at him, and we're like, we just burst out laughing. Why? They walked across from us, and Jerry goes, oh, oh, fuck! The guy goes, that's one of them! And I was like, I know! What happened? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. So the hippie guy came out? Hippie guy came out. One of the hippie guys came out, walked across from us. My friend goes, that's one of them. And I'm like, the crazy people. you see it too? <laughs> oh my God, I'm not alone. I was so happy when he saw it because it's not just him. It's others. And they don't see that. I don't... All right, note to manager of Massage Envy. Please stop hiring hippies. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's and so I, weird. I don't know. It's, I guess, like... And I'm not saying, like, what they believe is wrong. Well. By far, there's no way I'm saying that. Or am I, like, you know, criticizing or, um, you know, you know, thinking, like, you know, ridiculing them? I'm just saying, you know, when it gets to a certain point when you're ranting in the break room and I'm just trying to eat my pasta, I really don't want to hear how you want to go to the desert. And just, like, sometimes there has to be logic into what you're saying. I hear you. I mean, going into the desert with no technology... Is the worst you could, worst thing you can do. How are you gonna call for help if someone something does happen? You can't. Freaking send a freaking pigeon with a note. <laughs> you. You freaking never come back. Okay, so that was my uh, my rant of my job. I, I still have. Oh boy. A couple more to go. Do you want to add? No anything? no no. Go ahead, man. You're on fire. Just keep them coming. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> so now I learned story one. Daniel has hippies at his job. Avoid, avoid hippies. <sighs> something else, something else. So, um, mm-hmm. I we went back to school today, which was a pain in the ass, and I saw one of my friends, uh, not really my friend, an acquaintance I know, I guess, 
We like the same stuff. Uh, he started, which was pretty cool. He started an anime club in our school, which I thought was great. And um, I think he's one grade below me. And so, like, you know, we talk here and there. And I saw him after school today in the library. And I'm walking in, and I was like, hey, bro, uh, did, you just, did you just catch those uh, shows I told you to watch? He goes, nah, bro, I was trying to do something uh, during the break. And I was like, what? And he goes, I've been trying to stay uh, uh, stay up. And I was like, what are you talking about? I was trying not to sleep. And I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, bro, I stood up for seven days straight without no sleep. And I'm just like, how'd you do that? What? Why? He goes, I was like, do you know you can hallucinate or that? He goes, that's the point. Oh my. And, oh my God. I'm just, he goes, yeah, that's the point. But like, I went to my friend's house on the eighth day and I passed out. And I'm just like, what? I told him, dude, are you dumb? And he goes, no, nah, no. Nah. I was like, bro, you're dumb, dude. That's the <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever heard. Do not. Oh my God. I don't know what went through his mind. Again, it, there needs to be like a common sense course in high school that you need to take. Say please and thank you. Don't try to not sleep for seven days to have hallucinations. <laughs> you he didn't only, have it. Like, what? He was trying to, and he told me, Yo, I almost had them, but then I fell asleep. I don't know. Uh, I told him, bro, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You're dumb. That's I think my, the longest you know, like, you know, I've like, ever stayed up was you know, that's for like... water bottle, right? Huh? That's not a water bottle. No, it's not. It's not? It's I brought th- I've been drinking this for the past, like, hour. I brought this from upstairs. Oh, so I have the same water too. Oh, Nirvana. Nirvana, yeah. Nirvana is great. This podcast I is mean, brought to you by Nirvana. No, it's, no, a- it's not. It's not. <laughs> we I do that you. every time. <laughs> hey, what are you drinking? Oh, I'm just drinking a refreshing Nirvana. Oh my god. What? Me too. So yeah, he and he, he acted like nothing was wrong. And we I was need like, to get we need to get a Kickstarter program going. Common sense. Yes. I'm pretty sure there's a book called Common Sense, but it's about politics. I think yeah, well, uh, uh, you know, it's I about feel, Republicans. I feel uh, Republicans. no, I feel really dumb because that's actually a real popular book. Is it? And it's like, yeah, it's. Oh wait, wasn't that by? That was some by that was written a long by time someone ago. by someone like famous in history. He wrote Common Sense. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is. If a... you guys know, post in the comments below because huh. we. Oh, fuck. Who's that? Thomas guy? Paine. Yeah. Yo, what? Yeah. Something Paine, right? Paine. Thomas Paine. I think it's. I think it's Tom. Is it Thomas Paine? Yeah. <laughs> Should we Google that? <laughs> Should we Google that? <laughs> No, no, we'll do it after. All right, 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 right. Hey. It might, it might pop into our head. On the record, we think it's Thomas Paine. Don't quote us. Don't quote us. But it's on the record. It's on the record. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he told me like it was just like perfectly fine. Like, oh yeah, I stayed up for seven days, doing. Uh... Yeah, I did my math homework. I went to my grandma's. I stayed up seven days in a row to see hallucinations, and then I had some breakfast. What? What? <laughs> I would. Uh, he he told me so casual too, just like that. I, I couldn't figure out what went through his mind. I think that was a good idea. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> I burped and like... I burped. <clears throat> That's all right. It's all right, man. Back to the show. I have no idea what he was like... What? <laughs> the, the younger speechless. generation is just speechless. so... I'm, I'm legit speechless. Like, even my younger brother and my younger <laughs> sister, I've noticed that they, they, have, they are exposed to a lot more than I was exposed to as a little kid. And I don't know if this is true with everybody, but, like, I, I've noticed that my mother's only in sixth grade. And, like, s- like in sixth grade, I was clueless. I had no idea what sex was or any of that stuff. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Just the younger generation, man. No common sense. No you common know, sense. This, I don't want to... I really don't want to go to rants. I really don't. But there's something has to... It's, it's, one thing I've noticed... We have to difference. exterminate them all. No. <laughs> Please don't. One thing, no. one thing I've noticed with the younger generation is that they don't... Res- uh, they don't respect the older generation. Yes, they don't. It's so true. It is so true. It's out the window. It's, I it's remember gone. when I used to be like in middle school, like, you know, freshman, sophomore, whatever, junior year, I would always like respect like the upperclassmen, like whatnot, you know, like... Of course, I wanted. I fucking like bow down or like. And even know, the teachers get them food. I'd be like, you know, hey, it was a funny joke. Good job. Even though it wasn't that funny, you laugh. Anyway. And even the teachers don't get re- not much respect nowadays. I, it's, you know, I don't know what has happened. I don't know if it's like society is to blame. Maybe it's someone needs media. to slap so- society in the face. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> someone needs to slap society in the face. Oh god, I love that. That's an awesome t-shirt right there. Trademark patent pending. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, speaking of trademarks and patents, I have no idea why this reminded me of it, but it will. We're thinking of changing our name. Trademark patent pending. <laughs> speaking of which, we're thinking of changing our name. What the? What I went to IHOP. Yo, speaking of that. Speaking of, I have volcanoes. <laughs> <laughs> No, so yeah, we were thinking about changing our name. If you guys have any other suggestions, <coughs> shut up. I'm talking. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, he's dying. You alright? Yeah. Burp it out, man. Burp no, out. no. Are you I, okay? Alright, so we're thinking about changing saliva. our name. We're thinking about changing our name. If you guys have any suggestions, just post in the comments below. I know we don't get many comments, but if you guys have any suggestions. Or, you know, follow, you know, posting on Twitter. Like, you right, know, right, right, Twitter. We're not that, you know, popular out there, but, you know, we're trying our best. Yeah. Um, you know, just two guys. Yeah, just two guys. Uh, I'm thinking, I think, I think here's my two suggestions. If you guys, you know, like up or don't. If not, create your own. We'll hear you out. See how it is. Um, I think, I, I told you both, but I ain't tell them. 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 One is, uh, Arcade Pro Fun. Arcade Pro Fun. All one word. Capital A, capital P, capital F. I Arcade like it Pro because Fun. it, you know, it kind of like rolls off the tongue. I think it's alright. No one has it on YouTube. Um, uh, another one. But it's kind of silly. Yeah, but we're, we're pretty silly. I mean, we're pretty we silly. spent like that last uh, 20 minutes talking about, uh, you know, spiritual shit and how we... Uh, hippies. hippies. Um, second one is uh, Don't Turn On Red. <laughs> I'm starting to... That name is starting to catch on to me. I didn't like it at first, but I, I'm, I'm liking it now. Don't, Don't Turn, turn on, on Red. red. <laughs> I have no idea what it means. Actually, we I created that. Or I thought of that. Uh, on the way home. No turn on red or don't turn on red? Hmm. Don't turn on red, no turn on red. Because no turn on red is like the street sign, and that's what everybody says. Don't turn on red. People all say that. People all say don't turn on red, but the sign says no turn on red. I like no turn on red better. I like don't turn on red. Don't. Stop at the green light. (laughs) No, no turn on red. No turn on red. Don't turn on red. No. I think, I think we might go with no turn on red. Don't not turn on red. (laughs) I think we're going no turn on red. No turn on red. And arcade pro fun. And if you guys have any more suggestions, definitely add them in. Didn't you have two more or something that you showed me? No? Don't like them. Deleted them. You did? I don't even remember what they are. Oh. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Those names died. They have, uh, you know, been forgotten. We'll never see them again. Oh! oh. Speaking of never seeing how about, them again. How about this? Ready? Unsimple gaming. No. <laughs> gaming simple. <laughs> Unsaming, un, oh my god, I can't even speak. Unsimple video vlogging. <laughs> no, I, so, I, got um, I like our, I, I like arcade pro fun or, or no turn on red. But we'll you know, see. I'm gonna like, not leave it up to you guys, but you know, we feel like hey, you guys might have some good suggestions. Yeah, you know, uh, but one thing why I really wanted to change the name. Was because we have this, there is a lot of there are a lot of people with, with simple gaming. gaming. I wanted something. When we did simple gaming, we we were you know kind of uh, learning, testing. We're still learning and testing, but I want now I want something more like you know unique to us. Something that you're gonna look look type our name on YouTube or Google and like there's only one of them. Simple gaming. There's a lot of simple gaming out there. There's like 20, 30 simple gaming. Yeah. And so yeah, there's that and also no turn on red sounds awesome and simple gaming's kind of generic. Yeah. So um, there's that. When it comes to channel art and logo, we might change it. Maybe. Well, we're definitely gonna have to change the channel art and the logo. Oh, and the channel think... art, not necessarily. Yeah, the channel can start because that's, the kind of, that's kind of like a generic channel art. I want to change logo. The logo. We logo can put though. like a big stop sign. No, <laughs> we'll figure it out for that, the logo. What does that have to do with "Don't turn on red"? We can put or like "Don't turn on red." Like a like a red. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge somewhere. But um, moving on. Uh, speaking of uh. Uh, before we talk about school and coming out like, the first day, uh, we had something interesting in English. Personal right. narratives, yes. Personal narratives. Uh, during the break, or I totally forgot that we had to do during the break, so I did it Sunday night, and all I did was kind of copy my college essay, which, uh, not the greatest, but I'm already, in, I'm already in pace, so I'm So sorry. anyway, he, he let us either present it in speech format, and he would grade it like a speech, or you can uh, just put it on this website called Turnitin. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but it basically sees if you guys if you plagiarized uh, your what's it called your work. Yeah. And you can either just post it on that, and then he reads it and grades it like an essay, or you say it in front of the class. And he wanted the personal narratives to be um, 
a personal narrative about your life, something that deep that happened to you. So, or so, uh, I think it was like uh, it didn't have to be like, you know deep. It didn't have to be deep, but okay, most I, of them were. Uh, one thing my friend uh, mentioned about turning in, he told me you, I you, you copied your college essay, which was on a different website. Wouldn't that like wouldn't oh, that catch on turning in? And I was like, hmm, maybe you will. But I did change some stuff though. I like I did copy and paste it, but like I dude, that that would be so... <laughs> well. He's gonna look at it like. Wait a minute, this is from Common App, from his application, <gasps> he plagiarized, he plagiarized himself! I don't think, I don't think, um, I don't think, what's it called, I don't think it tells you the website that it plagiarized from, mm-hmm. I think it just says it got plagiarized, no, so then he's actually, gonna call you It actually name. does, though. Does it? I think, because I checked one time, and it said, like, your essay is, like, 18% similar, and I looked at the stuff that was similar, and it was, like, you use this line from, like, this book, or, like, you use this thing from here, and I'm like, of course, those are quotes, no problem at all. But, um, yeah, today we had some, uh, you know, deep uh, personal narratives, which was, you know, by far great. It was awesome, wonderful. Very good. Uh, very very high tension in the room. You can yeah, cut, it really was. Like, it was and really then, quiet. Like, Everybody was really respectful. I really, yeah, I really, it was just, you know, you can cut the tension with the knife. It was, But it was great, though, you know. Uh, the way they presented it was awesome. Uh, there was one uh, <laughs> was completely... Two of them were about... Um, Parents dying, yeah, which parents was very passing deep. away, which was very deep. Uh, one of them uh, was totally uh, um, left field. Uh, another so, one was about so, so left field that they're playing basketball, dude. I, I don't. Now I don't know if this was a. It was a complete change of pace, to it put was, it lightly. But I don't know if it. Uh, I don't know what went through his mind. I don't know if one. It made sense. It was good. I liked it. It was good, but that was my favorite. That I, was my favorite. I liked it, and I didn't like it at the same time. I don't know if uh, he, he, let, me, let me explain. So let's uh, tell them wrote, what it was about. Wrote, yeah. yeah, he wrote a personal narrative about cursing, that we should be uh, allowed to curse in class. And there were, you know, arguments, mostly on, like, yes, we should, that, you know, you know, we should be able to express ourselves. This is an English course. Uh, if the writers and authors the are writers able, to express the, yeah, right. uh, ex- able to express themselves, we should be able to express ourselves. Um, you know, um, we should be able to feel comfortable, like, you know, with that surroundings, maybe we'll uh, have a better connection with the teacher. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, like, it, his his reasons were, you know, great. Like, you know, I understand completely. On the other side, I don't. I really don't want, like, cursing in the classroom. Like, his essay... His essay was good, but it was bad at the same time. Like, some of the points he made were, like... They were pretty good. Like, you know, um, even if you're... We had to memorize movie quotes... And it was like this long four minute thing. It had to be a four minute speech uh, from a movie. And he didn't let us use the curse words. So he kind of said, hey, stop speaking. Skip over that cur- cur- uh, curse word in the movie. And it kind of disrupted the flow of the thing. Or like we're not allowed to curse in our literature when we write and hand it in uh, for obvious reasons. But he said, oh, you know, in books we read it and we're not allowed to read. We're not around allowed to read the curse word when the writer says it. So, like, in a book, if, if we're reading a book, and there's a passage and there's a curse word in it, we can't read it out loud. We have to skip over it. And he was saying, well, that kind of disrupts the flow of the book, and it kind of... Um, Taking, like, the, like, the it, words from right. the author out. It, t- it takes the words of the author out. I think I know. His idea was good and bad at the same but time. But he had bad delivery. I don't know if it was bad delivery or bad... No, it wasn't bad, bad delivery. Like, it's, just, it's just the idea was good and bad. Good right. because, yeah, I understand, you know... We want to be able to express ourselves. Bad, uh, there shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't, cur- it, you know, it's all comes to like respect the teacher, like right. we should respect him. We shouldn't, like, talk like how we talk to, like, you know, our friends on the streets. And right, and we like, should be able to, you know, respect them, you know, talk politely, or, you know, again, you know, uh, expand our vocabulary instead of, you know, cutting it down to, like, you know, fuck bitch ass or what? <laughs> fuck bitches all night or. <laughs> Any of those curse words? Um, and like, even when you curse, it makes you sound less intelligent. And we all do it. We yeah, all do we it. All I'm not do saying it. that. I, I said like six of them right now. I can go and count back. Fuck seven. Way, way more than seven. Eight. More like 15, 17, 18, 20. 60 million. Anyway, so one of the examples, some of it, like even my, te- my the teacher obviously was listening to this, and he said, "Well, you know, 
and there should be different modes. Like when you speak to your friends, obviously you don't care. You're going to say whatever you want. When you speak to your parents, it's going to be different. Hopefully some cases it's not. <laughs> hopefully some cases it's not. You Fucking speak Mark, go up to the name of the pasta. Yeah, exactly. Stupid bitch. <laughs> Why are you not in the kitchen? <laughs> But, like he said, you know, if you're in a job, you're not going to speak to your boss that way or to other workers that way. And the school is kind of training you for the real for the real world. And in the real world, you're not going to speak to somebody like that or you're going to get fired. Plain and simple. Hey, boss, lick these. <laughs> lick these nuts, motherfucker. But, um, yeah, I, you know, it was... It was the way he presented it was good. And, like, oh, and uh, um, going back on what uh, our teacher said... Uh, you can use any, like, other word to, like, you know, express... Right, there's so many and, words. And, and and replacing the curse word. You don't have to use fuck. You can say, like, anything else to express your emotions or describe what's happening in that situation. But, um... Yeah, that was just one of the uh, personal narratives which I thought was... You know, that's a good idea. You presented it well, but at the same time, that's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, it was and very he's, controversial. You know, he's he's one of those kids that, that, you know, does that. He, he uh... He tries to, uh, how do you stop fucking Sorry. around? Sorry, I'm gonna put this box. I've been fiddling with this box the entire time. Put the box away. Give me the box. Give me the box. Give me the box. Right, here, here. Give me the box. You get this back at the end of the podcast. Okay. He's, one, it, of the, he's, he's one of those teachers that, that push I, the limits, I guess. Yeah, one exactly. Of one of those now, students, I'm not saying that as a good thing. I'm saying that as a, like, you know, you're really annoying. You're not helping anyone. One of those students that, like, disrupts the teacher and, like, tries to prove him wrong. You know what I mean? No student. I think we know who we are. I'm gonna talk about next. We can't name names. Can't name names, but he's... We'll call him the independent scientist. <laughs> he's he's another one of those students that... He he doesn't really push the limits of, like, what like what to say or, uh, like, uh, uh, thinking-wise or, you know, ideas. He just literally he just, speaks to challenge the teacher. Like, the teacher will say something, and then he goes, No, but... He, like, he just says just, like, things that are really unnecessary. Like, just, like, random shit that no one... At this point, I'm getting really tired. I had three... One, two, three periods with him. It's just out of control. But there was... Uh, my last period with him was math. And we're going over, you know, logarithms and shit like that because I'm in dumb math. Um, and class is about to end. You know, we're all done. We're all packing up. And, you know... the hell is that? Never mind. Um, uh, there was just like this one last question problem on the board. And we all knew how to solve it. We're all using the steps that our teacher, the person that's there being paid to teach us. I'm emphasizing this because sometimes this one individual kid decides, I want to play teacher. That's a good impression. Yeah. <laughs> so... We're doing the last problem the way the teacher taught us. And, you know, I know he burst out. <clears throat> I have a better way! And I'm sitting there, I'm like, no, you don't. Every, every time you have a better way of doing things, they're always wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. So, the teacher kind of like told us the answer to the problem. And he said, yeah, you're going to have a radical in this problem. For you guys don't know what a radical is, I don't either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you're going to have a radical in this problem, but you guys should be fine solving it. Fine. He goes, there's another way without using your steps. First off, I would never say that to a teacher. Great. I would never say there's another way without doing what you wanted us to do. Like... If you have another way and you want to do it, fine. Do it by yourself, and if it works for you, great. Don't, you know, Don't just announce it to the class and put the teacher in the spot. I hate when that happens. So annoying. So, you know, he, you know, figures out this other way, and he goes, I got an answer, and we asked him, are there radicals? And then he goes, no. You did the fucking wrong thing, that's why! You didn't get the answer, because you didn't follow the damn steps, because you're freaking... I really don't want to bash the kid too much, because I think there's something, uh... Uh, Wrong with him? Yeah, I, I really don't want to be mean. Like, yeah, an asshole. he's there's, an idiot. There's something, you know, mental. So, but like, I, I, you know, again, I'm keen to myself, you know. I try to help him as much as possible to a certain point. But, you know, when you make an announcement like that and you get the wrong answer. What did he say to that one girl? What are you talking about? To, what? uh, what, at... 
somebody, I think one of our friends was telling me he went up to somebody in your math class. Is Alex in your math class? Mm, yeah, Alex. He was mm-hmm. telling me that he went up to a girl and said something really graphic. Oh, wait. I think I'm, I'm, I remember this, but I... Oh, fuck, what? Because I don't did, want to name the, the girl. What did he say? What did, He said, um... Alex told me... What did Alex tell you? And I quote... Do you, do you know? Oh, so why the hell are you making me think so hard? I, I was figured that you might attempt, be able to tell the story better because you Please, were there. Please, take the mic. So Tell everyone. Because uh, this is fucking hysterical. By so the way, apparently... Okay. Okay. Can, I, can I set the scenario? And you, you go knock, for it, set man. the pins up. You knock them down? Yeah, sure. Go cool. for it. Cool. Strike. Okay. So, uh, it was, I believe, a Friday. And we're all, you know, chill out. Everything. A math class. You know, we're done. We packed well, it what in. What period meals. is math? Ninth. Ninth. So, so you know, everyone's, last period, everyone's like, you know, happy as Friday. It's, he gave us like right the last, before break. He, he gave us like the five minutes off just to chill and whatnot. And um, before that, um, uh, we were all laughing because I think something happened, like a joke or something. Um, and he turns around and he pops a straight loogie from his mouth, touches the ground and just like, just a, just a long strip, just bleh, back and I look at it like, oh my god, I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm I quickly just like shove my desk away from him. I was like, I'm moving as far away from him as possible. So, the thing is, when he did that, he turned around and did it to the to the girl that we're about to uh, meet, uh, and just popped the loogie. And I'm looking at him like, bro, did you fucking say that? And I was like, yeah, I saw that too. Like, he popped the straight loogie. So, um. No one really saw it except for like her, me, and the other kid. And um, so, you know, again, we're back to fast forward to the five minutes of the class. And he gets up and he walks to the, toward the girl. And he says, I take it, give it to Max. He says, And Alex said that he said to her, and I quote, My balls are very small. <laughs> I couldn't say it. I couldn't say it. He see goes, it, my it. balls are so sweaty and smelly right now. Walks away. <laughs> now, I don't know to either be like, I don't completely like, just like, what the fuck my are you balls, doing? Or I just give up a, a fucking exactly, trophy. Just like that. That's exactly how he said it. My balls are really sweaty and smelly right now. Walks away. I don't know if we should, like, give him a trophy. Or no. just be like, what the fuck is If that? the trophy is in the shape of a gun and aimed at his face, <laughs> then maybe we can give him a trophy, yeah. <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've... I, now I'm starting to remember. That was the greatest thing I've ever I, heard him say. <laughs> that's what Alex said, so I don't know if that's true. I was there. I saw it, too. I remembered. That's what he said. My, my, say it again, please. My balls are sweaty and smelly. And he walks away. <laughs> he walks away. Right now, I'm sorry. My balls are sweaty and smelly right now. And he walked away. Oh my god, it was great. I think I think we should end it on that. On the uh, the. My sp- balls are sweaty and smelly right now. So if you guys took a you know, this long for whatever, 43 minutes or how much it was, thank you. You get a new car. You get a new car. No, we don't. Oh. We, by the way, you, you got to fix that part in your car. That's right. a later okay. story. All right. Um, uh, we never get to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, fine. You know, maybe next pe- podcast, we'll sprinkle some Yu-Gi-Oh in there. What for, are we going to do? Sprinkle some Yu-Gi-Oh in there. For the people who like Yu-Gi-Oh and watch this. Okay. Um, uh, if you guys took, you know, all the way to like the 40 minute, you know, thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it. It's awesome. If you're not, you know, whatever, you know, watch, listen and, 10 minutes of this. It's fine. Uh, no, it's not. Fuck you. No. <laughs> no if you guys like anyway. it, you know, leave a like or comment below. And if feedback, you guys want good feed, any feedback is good feedback. You know, if you guys subscribe, you know, help us out. You know, if you and if you guys want to see anything, do not hesitate to comment. Or we you will know, give us a message. It. We will definitely play. Send that us game. a message on Twitter or YouTube or through Twitter, our email comment. account. Set Somewhere. up. Hey, you know, you should do this or like you should like play this game or do whatever. You know, hey, we're open for anything. So you know, thanks again. We'll probably do more podcasts. I. Uh, I think the next one I'm trying to get David on, which I I regret not talking about David in this podcast. But he uh, he's a real fun guy to be around with. He's fun, yeah. We have fun conversation with him. So you know, thanks again for listening. Um, like, subscribe below, and you know, my, oh, it's right here. I was looking for my water bottle.
But thank you again. By the way, water is a is a really big ripoff. Bottles of water. We will talk the about water it. Is, the water is the earth is seventy five percent water, we, and we pay for it. That's bullshit. We will talk about it next podcast. Okay. Thank you again, guys, <laughs> and uh, see you next time. Bye. You gotta you gotta hit the stop button. The, no, that's the record button. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah.